One of the most fantastic features of Angular 2 is its ability to create components. In fact, Angular 2 is called a component-based framework and it is directly inspired by the web components. The applications that we build using Angular 2 are going to be a collection of components. In most cases, one component will be nested into another and so on, which would eventually become like a component tree. Consider an e-commerce app. So the main layout is going to be your root component and the sidebar or the top navigation bar or some products here. Let me just draw this. So you have your root component which could be your main layout. And then you have your sidebar, the navigation bar, and then individual products, which could be like your individual components. So they are nested into your root component. And we can call this root component as your parent component. So these become your child components. You can still further have another component in a child component as well. So this could be like your rating component. So far we have created components and used them individually. What we are going to see now is how we can use one component in another component. In this video, we will create a simple Angular 2 component called an app component, which is going to be our parent component. And then we'll create another component called child component. We will then see how to nest the child component inside the parent component. Back in the Visual Studio code, let's make some changes to our app component. I'm going to remove this p tag and make this h1 tag as a div tag. And let's add a class to the div tag. I'm going to call this as parent. And now in the styles property, I'm going to change this to dot parent and then add some styles to it. I'm going to give a background. And let's just give it some color. And then I'm going to give a color CSS property. So it's going to be black. So it's all zeros. And then let's give some padding to a div. So I'm going to give that as 20 pixels. Back in the browser, we can see the changes. So let's change this welcome to Angular 2 to parent component. And let's save this file. Now that we are ready with our parent component, let's create a child component. Let's create a new file called app.childcomponent.ts. In here, we are going to create our child component. Okay, so our child component is now ready. The name of the selector is child-component, which means we can now insert this component into the HTML file by making use of the child-component tag. Our component had its own styles and its own template. At this point, we are done with creating both the components. Next, we need to nest the child component inside of the parent component. In order to achieve this, we need to make three changes to our app module. 
that is the app.module.ts file which is this the first thing that we need to do is to import the child component here child component is the uh, name of the class that we exported from app.component.ts file so if we go back and look, take a look at that so this is the name of the component so what we are doing in module.ts file is giving that component name here so we are trying to import that component and we are giving it a path so we are saying app.child component notice that we are not mentioning the .ts file extension here that's because the system.js module loader takes care of that for us next we need to add the imported component to the declaration section in the ng module decorator angular provides declarations to declare components directives pipes that belong to the current module so everything inside the declarations knows each other so let's go ahead and add our chill component here Finally, we need to use the child component tag inside the parent component template. So let's go back to our parent component, which is here, and then let's add the child component tag into its template. So I'm gonna add the child component tag here. Once we save all our files, back in the browser, you should be able to see that the child component is now nested inside the parent component.